Okay, so today we're going to show you how to change the bearings on a QT12 tumbler. This is also could be a QT66 tumbler. Uh, the barrels interchange. This particular tumbler is what we call an oldie but a goodie. Uh, I don't even think you can buy them this color anymore. It's, it's probably 25, 30 years old, still works great. But the bearings are really gunked up. Uh, you have to oil these weekly and just over time the dirt gets in there and the oil gets all sticky and uh, after a while the, the barrel just doesn't turn as well as it should. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. We're going to try to get this done here in about five minutes. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, the first thing that you will need to do is there's a, there's a nut here on the outside of the pulley guard. Uh, the belt guard and you just take that nut off uh, it's a pretty simple task uh, I got that and then this particular tumbler is broke uh, on the inside but typically a lower tone tumbler will have a steel strip here that goes through on the inside and you will pull that back and then this this guard will just come right off so okay so you got the guard off and then the thing that holds this pulley, you're looking at the pulley system here and on the inside of this drive pulley is an allen screw. We got our allen wrench and we're just gonna loosen that up here a little bit and that should just should just be able to pull that off. like so. Got both got the belt off and the pulley off. Okay that shows uh, a clip that holds the bearings in place and this clip is always kind of a bugger to get off but you, it's easy to get it to get two screwdrivers, flathead screwdrivers in here and kind of hold the tumbler down and then push push on both directions of the clip and there the clip comes off typically they fly across the room and will usually end up in the vent so it's always good to get a new clip um, when you're getting your bearings that way you have some replacements but if you if you do happen to find them you can reuse the clips okay we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the rest of the clips One. Okay. There's a third one. And have it started to come off. There we go. And there's the fourth one. Let's see. Okay, so we got all four clips off. Uh, you can get a screwdriver in behind the old bearing. And wiggle that out of there. And this being a very old tumbler, these have been in here a long time. Okay, once that's out, you can just uh, pull that right out of there. And there's the shaft. Okay, we're going to do this one. Okay. I'll use a little WD-40. Okay. Yep. There's one that allows us to finagle this. And there's our two shafts. Okay, so the shafts, we're going to reuse these shafts. They're old and they're gunky. Uh, but everything seemed to be running actually with this other than, other than the fact it was stopping every now and again. And I don't believe it's these shafts. So we're going to clean these up. We'll use a little bit of uh, WD-40 on these. Get off the old, uh, get off all the old oil. Okay, through the magic of camera work, we did a little edit, and uh, I took a few minutes to clean uh, shafts up uh, since those were so gunky. Um, I had quite a mess going, 
got that cleaned up so now we're gonna put in some new bearings uh, bearings which you can get at the rockshed.com um, typically look like this uh, and they and again uh, we come with one clip that will hold each end. I find the best way to do this is to start uh, by putting two bearings in installed by themselves. Don't even worry about the shafts yet. Okay, got two in. Okay, then we're going to take the drive shaft. Uh, the drive shaft is always uh, one that's got a little bit longer than, than the idler shaft. Uh, and they make it longer so you can get the pulley on that end. So, the long end goes through the hole over by the motor, which allows you to pull that down, and then that will go in the shaft. And you can take the new, another new bearing for the other side, and you can slide it over the shaft, and then start putting the shaft back in the bearing on the other side, and then tap this bearing. Don't uh, hurt yourself. Tap that bearing into place. Like so. And both those bearings are in. Um, when you take your clips, brand new clips, or if you if you uh, cleaned up your old clip, it doesn't matter. And get that pushed right in there like so. And that holds that shaft We're going that way. And this clip will hold the shaft We're going that way. So that shaft is in. Uh, get your idler shaft. Uh, you put it through the hole and down. It goes back into the bearing over here. Slide that bearing in. Nice and flush. Okay, that's in. And then we've got some more clip work to do. Put it in this clip. Clipped right in there. Shafts are good. And it's a simple matter of putting your pulley back on. Tighten that up. Belt back on. Okay, and then once you get your shafts back in, give it another uh, little uh, some new fresh oil. Uh, I'm using 3 1 oil here. And once you get that done, uh, we're going to put our blade guard back on. Tighten the nut down on that, and again on a new machine, you will have the the tab in the back and get that done, and then this tumbler is ready to go.